Tesla and the Mercedes Benz are thinking about getting the old band back together and they already have a van in mind. Uh, this is something that Elon uh, tweeted out today, uh, maybe as a response to what Daimler CEO said a few days ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago. But I guess he's open to collaborating with Mercedes Benz again on a delivery van. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a history here. Let me tell you if it's actually reasonable, possible and probable. And also I'll tell you where Mercedes Benz is with their technology for the electrified vans. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source uh, of the unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, welcome. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button uh, in holiday red color down there. Uh, that way you won't miss anything moving forward. All right, so this is one of their uh, sort of renderings, uh, prototypes, you know, whatever, um, of their vans, but they have a couple of them right now. And the Mercedes has been pretty aggressive uh, and up there as far as electrifying their like um, industrial fleet they have you know anywhere from a smaller van to like relatively big delivery tracks trucks that they that they've been doing and uh this one is uh e sprinter for example um it's already being delivered out there in production um 70 mile uh range is probably a little bit less than you probably want now delivery vans don't forget they are spending a lot of their time on in warehouses and uh, unloading and loading at the you know destinations so they don't and they usually don't make long trips right this is from deliveries within the same you know neighborhood or maybe the city so their range doesn't really need to be that that big and of course driving in the city you don't spend as much energy as you do on the freeway so you know range about 100 to 150 is actually pretty acceptable in this case you know for some companies maybe even a 70 mile range is acceptable especially if you end up making uh, two trips from your warehouse and you're actually charging as the uh, as the uh, van is loading again for the second run of the day that might actually you know work for uh for some people and and, and that's where mercedes is but i have to say you know daimler daimler is the parent company of the Mercedes, um, they, they're pushing it pretty hard. And uh, let me remind you that, uh, you know, Mercedes was uh, an investor into Tesla. Back in the day, they invested $50 million, I think for about a little bit under 10% of share in, um, in Tesla. And Elon later admitted that that's what saved um, Tesla from going bankrupt. I think like it was literally if the Mercedes didn't do it, like next day Tesla had to file for bankruptcy. So um, they invested 550 uh, million later on and, and they've, you know they've collaborated in a few ways i think the um the, the wheel setup for in, in earlier teslas were uh, from daimler and then tesla ended up having a daimler build their b class based on their powertrain with a pretty minimal range unfortunately and it wasn't the ugliest car it was actually pretty decent but they made it in a very very small amounts and discontinued um after that but they had a few different collaboration projects going and then you know mercedes decided to um Bailo, however, they parted ways. Um, they ended up selling all of their stock at like, I think, 750 million. I mean, it was a pretty nice return, definitely, on their investment. And they haven't really talked since. You know, Mercedes kind of went, uh, Daimler kind of went their own way, and uh, uh, Tesla went their own way. Uh, and now they're thinking about maybe doing something, uh, you know, something together. Again, I'll tell you about what Elon Musk just said about it. Uh, before that, of course, I want to let you guys know that this video and this channel is sponsored by Avanex the aftermarket accessories for one of those companies, which is, you know, Tesla. Uh, there's a discount code in the description of this video just in time for uh, holiday shopping for you guys. Go ahead and grab it and save uh, yourselves a few bucks. All right, so here's a tweet that um, Elon uh, uh, posted out there. Um, and this was, I believe somebody just basically threw it out there how they would love a Tesla, um, Tesla van. And this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, his reply, he basically said, maybe interesting to work with Daimler Mercedes on an electric Sprinter, which is the, the one that I just showed you a second ago, this one. Um, and it says, that's a great van. We will inquire. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know if this just stuff comes to Elon's mind as if he, he goes through his Twitter feed when he's bored or whatever, or he puts a lot of thought into it. And then he actually seeks out the opportunity on Twitter to actually get this going. Um, Again, funny way how nowadays the world uses Twitter, like instead of making a call or sending an email to, to Daimler, this is how he kind of puts it out there. But hey, listen, if it works, it might work. Now, I personally think that this may just be a stretch for Tesla because one, 
why do they need Mercedes? Like, what is it they don't have that Mercedes has? I mean, besides factories, staff and stuff like that. Like, but that's my point. Isn't it a distraction to, you know, don't forget Model 3 production is still being ramped up. I mean, they obviously want to go to about 10,000 uh, per month. Um, they're, it looks like they're shooting for about 7,000 by the end of this month. And it looks like they might achieve it. Uh, that's one. Secondly, obviously, Model Y is the next model to work on. And then you need to figure out what they're going to be making them besides the Shanghai factory. And there's a Shanghai factory. And there's a pickup truck, right, that they're, that they're working on. And don't forget, you know, the semi-truck and the roadster. I mean, all of those projects are going on. So I'm not really sure if Mercedes wants to get into such a smaller niche of um, delivery vans right now. Um, but hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe it could be their testing ground for it where they don't really need to actually make these. They can just kind of uh, send their IP that way. And then Daimler will instead, you know, they have the money and then factories and, but they need the IP, they need the know-how and the batteries. Maybe it will work out. If I say that's maybe a little bit too much, but who knows? I mean, Elon has never shied away for, from, from taking you know, on more and more projects that are fun. But I really do hope they work together. I mean, obviously, manufacturers you know, sharing knowledge and, 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 and funds and, and staff uh, you know, to move all of us forward to, in, in, in the electric car revolution. You know, I'm all for it. Um, all right. By the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my new patrons now that I saw the slide. Uh, appear here. Uh, James uh, Piver, thank you so much for uh, becoming one of the new Patreons. This is the site where not only you get to support me and being an independent full-time YouTuber, you get a lot of stuff back. For example, you you know the top tier Patreons get to watch me live. This way you guys are the first ones to hear it uh, from me. Some of you know, then I repost on YouTube after that. Um, obviously, better access, and also I do a, a quick uh, sort of an update just for my Patreons live. It's called the um, Extra Mile, which I really enjoy doing. There's information that I own, don't really disclose on YouTube sometimes, but I definitely share it with my Patreons. All right, guys. Well, let me know in the comment section what you think about the uh, Mercedes uh, and a Tesla working together again. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.